Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Nurse Alyssa, and today we're gonna to be discussing nutrition for wound healing. But first, if you could hit that subscribe button, it would be greatly appreciated as it truly does help my channel grow. So let's get started. So eating well does play a vital role in wound healing. It helps them heal faster and it also helps fight any infections. So the vital nutrition that we need um, to heal quicker and to fight off the infections are increased calories, um, increased protein, fluid, vitamin A, vitamin C, and zinc. So I do know that there are some of the um, like vitamin drinks and drinks to help heal wounds. Now, those are great, but food is the best source of nutrition, okay? So eat from the food guide, um, eat a variety of food from the four food groups um, daily, okay? So your fruits and vegetables, your grain products, your milk and alternatives, and your meat and alternatives. Okay, you don't want to be eating junky food while you have a wound, especially chronic wounds. We need to be eating from the food pyramid and making sure that we are getting our vital nutrition. So calories. Calories are the energy that we get from food. So your body does need extra calories while trying to heal so that you don't lose weight. Now, that, this is extremely important in the older population uh, because a lot of times they're not really hungry as it is. They're not eating much. Um, we have to make sure that what they're putting in their bodies is from the food pyramid, okay? And it has the nutrition. So we want to optimize nutritional value at the food that they are getting um, because we don't want them to lose weight. Um, if they do have a poor appetite, more small frequent meals can help. So next we have protein. So this does help us build and maintain muscle, heals tissues, and also helps us have a healthy immune system. So increasing protein is important for wound healing. Um, so it should be eaten at every meal and a snack in between, okay? So three meals um, with two snacks a day. Um, so protein can be cheese, cottage cheese, yogurt, milk, um, meat, poultry, fish, tofu, eggs and fortified soy beverages okay next we have fluids so your body needs more fluid for healthy skin and wound healing um, and also sometimes we have fluid coming out of the wound also dehydrating in us okay more than per usual so we do need to increase our fluids so water is the best source of fluids although for people with poor appetites um, choosing milk or a smoothie will help get the um, extra nutrition plus they're drinking okay so fluids that they can have is water milk 100 percent fruit juice or vegetable juice soups teas coffees next we'll look at our vitamins and minerals uh, that we need to repair um, damaged tissue okay so vitamin C A and zinc they all help us repair those tissues and fight infection and keep our skin healthy um, so vitamin A I do have a list here of all things um, that have vitamin A so apricots cantaloupe carrots cheese eggs leafy greens um, liver mango milk pumpkin sweet potatoes and papaya Okay, so lots and lots to choose from. We want these natural sources. I mean, you can take a pill of these also, but natural sources are the best. They are absorbed the best, okay? Next, we have vitamin C. So broccoli, cantaloupe, citrus fruit, kiwi, papaya, Brussels sprouts, potato skins, uh, potatoes with the skins, sorry, um, strawberries, sweet bell peppers, tomatoes, 100% uh, fruit juice. Okay, and then we have our zinc, so um, our eggs, our fish, our liver, our milk, our meat, um, our beans, uh, nuts and seeds, our poultry, uh, seafood, and whole grains. So we have lots and lots of things to choose from. Pick a few things. You're not going to eat everything every day, so just pick from the food group, switch it up, and then that's how you get your vital nutrition that you need. 
So I just did want to add in here about diabetes because it is extremely important that we are controlling our blood sugar. If we have diabetes, it is extremely important for wound healing. It's really hard if the sugars are going up and down all out of whack to heal a wound, okay? So keeping control of the blood sugar is very, very important. It'll help heal the wound faster and also minimize the risk of infection. So I hope you did find this video helpful and now you kind of understand why um, nutrition is so important and that food sources are the best for wound healing. Um, so that's all I have for this video, guys. I'll see you in my next one.